Welcome to our presentation. Today, we will present our research on the use of automated parliaments to resolve decision uncertainty in language models. We'll start with the architecture and theory, move on to our methodology and results, and finally conclude and offer some next steps and possible applications. So, why is decision making under uncertainty such an important problem? Every real world decision is made under uncertainty, from being unsure whether to bring an umbrella to work in case it rains, to world leaders in the Cold War deciding whether to increase the readiness of nuclear weaponry in case of potential aggression, or even non-trivial fellows not knowing which project to pursue given uncertainty over impact. With AI models making more and more decisions for a society, it is incredibly important that they make good ones and accommodate for both information and moral uncertainty. As of yet, few tools or architectures exist to aid in this purpose. We are proposing the automated parliament as one such architecture, and we'll start by explaining its theoretical underpinnings. We take primary inspiration from the concept of the moral parliament. Imagine that when facing moral dilemmas, such as which meal to eat for dinner, you construct in your head a little parliament with delegates representing your credences and different moral theories. You allow your delegates to negotiate, propose options and make amendments, and eventually they produce your answer, mushroom risotto. Our solution projects this little parliament into the digital world, with AI models representing the different delegates. Each delegate is made up of three parts, the evaluator, the generator and the modifier, all tailored to a specific stance or theory. So how do multiple delegates come together? The simultaneous modification mechanism, illustrated here with three delegates, although you can have as many as you want. As shown in the centre, a question or prompt is given to the generators of all three delegates, which produce initial answers. These are each passed on to the modifiers of the next delegate in line, which modify those answers and so on, until every delegate has had an input on every answer. We then use our evaluators to score all three answers and calculate the best final answer. These scores are not only important for deciding on the final answer, but also in training the modifiers and generators using these equations. Long story short, delegates are trained to make their answers aligned with their own theories, to make their answers acceptable to other theories, and to make sure the winning answer represents their theory well. A key design feature of our simultaneous modification mechanism is that it ensures opposition agnosticism. Delegates are totally modular and can be substituted in and out of any automated parliament. Because of the generator modifier distinction, all individual components are greedy. They always make answers more self-aligned. I will now briefly touch on our theory of change. Society wants AI models to do what they are intended to do. The automated parliament facilitates this goal by allowing AI to make better aligned decisions, with several key advantages over both conventional and ML alternatives, as shown on the slide. In this section, we will explain the research that we performed and the results we achieved. We have proposed two novel components in our research paper, the simultaneous modification mechanism and the evaluation mechanism. Given the short time frame, we have decided to do a proof of concept on the latter, specifically in the moral setting where our automated moral parliament aims to resolve moral uncertainties. Each training datum consists of four parts, a prompt response pair and numerical value for each of the three moral theories we have selected. We have decided to fine-tune our models, Claude, Bard, and ChatGPT via few-shot prompting. We trained each model on 40 pieces of training data, allowing them to behave more coherently as evaluators, having learned how to respond appropriately. We employed a single loss function to measure the performance of the evaluators as shown on the slide to calculate the efficacy we compared the loss functions of each AMP evaluator against a simple evaluator, which outputs a single alignment score as opposed to three. The measured loss was consistently lower for an AMP fine-tuned via few-shot prompting than for an evaluator providing a single value for each Q&A, averaging out at a 57.3% reduction. This provides strong evidence that LLMs can learn to score Q&As more closely to what humans would expect by implementing AMPs. Claude, Bard, and ChatGPT were better at evaluating Q&As when they were used as AMPs rather than single evaluators, which provides evidence in favor of the efficacy of AMPs. Claude was able to simulate interactions between a generator and three evaluators, allowing for a foundation for a fully developed AMP. 
AMPs can make AIs more closely aligned with human interests and resolve decision uncertainty. Now we'll wrap up, touching first and next steps, followed by potential applications and the potential impact of the project. In order to attain a clearer idea of the value of the automated parliament, we would love to see research on the simultaneous modification mechanism, replacement of few-shot prompting with more formal training, generalizing the number of delegates, integrating reinforcement learning from human feedback for the evaluators, and various scalability tests. However, given the results we do have, we've made some predictions about the potential impact of automated parliaments. We believe the greatest positive impact will occur when the automated parliament is applied in moral settings. By designing and implementing the AMP architecture under simultaneous modification, we create an environment where delegates aim to seek common ground. No important normative factors are left out. This allows our AMP to generate answers to morally contentious questions that reflect a balance of diverse ethical perspectives. AMPs that can navigate moral uncertainty in a playing field that cannot be gained can reduce existential risk by consistently making ethically informed decisions that prioritise human well-being and long-term safety and defend against deceptive and misaligned AI. In addition, the more general automated parliament architecture can help to resolve decision uncertainty in diverse contexts. It can be used as a general evaluator for standard LMs. To build consensus between real-world interests, i.e. between corporations or political parties. As a personal decision-making assistant. As a judicial advisor in court settings. And for many more. Thank you for listening.